Okay, back again, video number four in how to tune your EMS V2. Um, I've got the same maps in here that we were using before. I haven't changed anything. This is a direct pickup from where we left off on the last video. And I'll say it again. If you guys have not watched my previous videos from, from the first one, and you guys are thinking jumping right into the um, the fuel map and these idle maps are going to fix some of these problems that you've never been able to fix before. Um, they, they might, but please go back and make sure that that your your sensors are reading as they should, and that you are mechanically sound. Um, good vacuum. Um, everything is reading correctly. It cannot be stated enough times. Every single time, I'm gonna every single video that that has to happen because the stuff I'm gonna show you in the idle, um, and it's really going to start becoming evident with every single video. It becomes more and and more um, dependent on everything previous to this video being set up correctly. Okay, so um, now on the last video. Um, we left off we were at full operating temperature and that's where we're starting from here full operating temperature um, <clears throat> if your if, if your car is cold for whatever reason start it up just basically um, you, you could you could play with the, the start values a little bit um, I want to do a whole video on it by itself but start the car and get it to operating temperature get it to about 180 degrees Fahrenheit or 80 degrees Celsius or something like that get it um, to operating temperature and and at a decent idle and make sure your uh, this map even though it may not be right um, everywhere that's fine we want it to be able to idle at you know um, a, a decent AFR anywhere from 11 to, to 13 5 14 something like that and we want it to be you know idling at approximately 1200 it, it, it's gotten us to this point the whole um, idea behind the 1200 idle target is um, to give us a chance to get this fuel map where we need to. We don't have to worry about it dying. We don't care if the idle is at perfectly at 725 or 750 right now. It doesn't matter. We can do all that later. So what we're going to do, we're going to assume that this map is pretty close um, and we're at full operating temperature and we're going to really start looking at idle. Okay. Before we look at idle, what we're going to do really quick is we're going to run over here to the ignition. We're going to look at this ignition table. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is take a good look at this. Okay. Before I start changing these values, and I, you know what, I won't even do separate tables. What we're going to do in the last video, you saw me demonstrate real quickly what I call the floor, um, or what, what some people call a floor. Um, and it's it's basically kind of like just a plateau of the same value everywhere and what that does is it it creates like a little saddle where everything is the same and it creates kind of like a dead zone um, where things just like to sit and it's, it's very easy to be comfortable in that area with timing and fuel and idle and things like that and we're talking about idle on this video so what we're going to do is on the Supra um, in particular um, what I found to be really nice values is a base value of about 15 okay so what what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select everything from negative 7.5 vacuum down to 13 like full full way down there okay um, I'm gonna select all these right here hit s and I'm not even gonna do the the short key things anymore if you guys have watched the previous videos you know what s means you know how to select everything you know how to do percentage changes you know how to undo and you know how to um, interpolate so um, I'm not even gonna mess with them anymore um, we're gonna set it to 15 okay we created a nice little saddle here for, for the idle to sit in now um, the uh, there's an idle trim um, here that deals strictly with ignition idle offsets we'll get to that in a minute um, and it kind of works the same way as the fuel table does with the the boost compensation map if you guys have watched my previous videos you know how this map um, pretty much lays identical or directly on top of this map okay so you've got one going this way um, kind of on a different axis and then it's the same thing with uh, let's see here this map right here and this 
particular area on this map. Okay, so right here we've also got that idle map doing this or this, whichever way it doesn't matter. Okay, to help offset and keep keep things happy. So we're going to set this at 15, and that's a pretty good value. And w whatever values, um, you know, given various cars, you might set this at. Uh, you know, 10, or you might even set it at, you know, 5. It just totally depends on whatever your car likes. Um, but then what you're going to do, we'll set, we'll set this back to, uh, we'll set it to 12, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to make sure that the, the base cows are pretty good about this. You want to make sure that it is a gradual increase, okay? Because when you guys are sitting here messing with idle, sometimes you'll run into ignition maps, that look like this for whatever reason okay obviously those values are a little much right there but you'll notice the difference from here to here okay from there to there that's like a 30 degree jump and it will really mess with um, like wh where we're at particularly with idle because if you notice we're actually targeting an idle so in between this these two breakpoints and actually closer to well, no not 1550 but we're splitting this right down the middle. So we're not at 11.8, but we're not at 43, okay? So the idea here is to make this a nice, soft transition from here to, you know, over to here, okay? You don't want it to be, um, you know, too low like this. You, you'll want it a little bit higher at, at 1,500, but you won't want it at you know that okay so we'll set it at 25 and you, you just want you want nice smooth transitions out of this idle everywhere okay um, so we could lower uh, let's see we'll lower this down a little bit like kind of like this we'll go ahead and raise these up a little more okay what we're doing is we're just creating like a nice little saddle Okay, for this idle to sit in, just just for now, and you can play with these values if you want to, but that's more or less kind of what they're going to end up being, something kind of like this, something similar. So now we're going to go back over here to the idle, and we're targeting 1,200. Okay, so what we're going to do is you want we we played with this map and we got it sort of close. Okay, we raised this whole map. We're targeting 1,200. We tried to get this value right here, ballpark. So now what we're going to do is, before we go over here and actually start targeting different values, we're going to um, lower these values. So we're going to lower them down. Okay. I'm actually going to do it this way. Okay. It's going to look something kind of like that. All right. And then these over here. Yep. going to be something kind of like that. Now, how hard this slopes is going to depend on your particular car, um, you know, and uh, your, your particular setup. I mean, it might be a, a much smoother line, kind of like the stock is. Um, yeah, you start getting it aftermarket intake manifolds and bigger throttle bodies. Um, you know, it starts to get a little more aggressive. Um, but then what we're going to do, just get a decent starting point, and then what we're going to do is over here, Let's say we're at you know operating temperature about 80, okay, 80 degrees Celsius, or if we're in Fahrenheit 180, something like that. We're gonna set the value to uh, let's let's do a thousand, okay. Now we're targeting a thousand. The ECU is trying to make the car idle at a thousand. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to the um, thousand RPM point here, idle target RPM a thousand, and how much it's working. It's doing 31% um, work to get uh, to let enough air into the motor to get to 1,000 RPM at a pretty steady idle. Now, if it's too much, you watch over here and watch your uh, your idle learned value, okay, and um, your air duty and things like this, and you'll notice that you'll learn um, your air duty. Uh, a lot of these are reflective of where you're actually at, so um, we're targeting 1,000. So if our idle target, it'll show 1,000 right here. Okay, and our idle speed is still at 1050. I'm going to run over here to the 1000, and I'm going to just give it little, 
little drops and I'm gonna watch the engine speed drop until it gets close and you'll notice the um, not so much the learn value right now but the error duty and all these will get closer and closer to zero okay and then what you can do is you can roll back over here and you can here let's set it to 950 it drops these down a little more and then over here you go over here to let's see 900 so now you're targeting 950 so it's going to be in between these two values so you're actually targeting this so it's not necessarily at 23 percent it's not necessarily at 28 percent it's at about 25 somewhere in there okay so what you can do is play with both of these values up or down until you can go over here to this map and you can basically select you know whatever you want and do um, 11 oops 11.50 and you move this and boom your idle jumps right up to 11.50 your engine speed jumps right up to 11.50 and you play with these map you, you play with this graph over here until all of your values up to about I, I personally turn them off at about 17, 000, or 1700 um, and idle above 400 is good 400 and 1700 are good so once you get over here to about 1700 you can select this whole graph over here and you can set it all to the same value. We'll just set it at 60. Doesn't matter. All these are the same because once you pass this point, none of this matters. You're not even at idle anymore. It's it's not even considering you're in you're in idle state. So it doesn't matter. Um, I'm actually running out of time here. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, continue this idle um, discussion in the next video. See you there.